I'm your Tropical Records and you just came over to me and said, Yeah, I recognize yeah. you from your YouTube channel. Yeah. And, and you said you got into this like six years ago? Yes. And um, Well, I was just saying that I, I got into it because I understood what it feels like to actually own music, hold it in your hands and kind of, and that's an experience that you have to appreciate in order to um, kind of be immersed in it. Right. I feel like anyone that uh, says it's not a great medium just doesn't know what they're missing out on. So in every way, and exactly. sonically too. Or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the truth of the matter is I feel, as I said, it's a futile exercise trying to convince someone that this is a good medium to get into. You just have to let them kind of experience it, and once they do, and you know they learn how to immerse themselves into it, that's when they learn to appreciate it. Well, you know, I felt it was 30 years ago. I thought it was futile. Everybody said, everybody said, just don't bother. It's going away. But I, you know, I fought it. So, I'll, um, so in the last three years, pretty much every friend of mine bought a turntable. And they started buying records. It's spreading like the Zika virus. Exactly. Except it gives you a bigger <laughs> head instead of a smaller head. <laughs> and I think it's amazing because um, I, I love the fact that today, when I talk to my friends about music, um, it, it, it feels like I'm having the same conversation that I did with them when we were kids and we used to collect cassettes. Yeah, yeah. So, and you had something to talk about. It absolutely. wasn't just like streaming nothing. I, mean, I stream. When I get up in the morning, I stream. Yeah. And then I, you know. <laughs> it's funny. My wife and I were literally having a conversation. Um, in the car uh, because uh, she, we were listening to the radio and I told her shut it off my ears are hurting and she's like you know why is that I mean like have you just become like I said no it's because you have you once you become a discerning listener you learn to appreciate that music even if it's not that great is best appreciated when it sounds good yeah and sometimes the you know you don't expect every artist to be great but if they put up music that sounds good, you'll still listen to it. On a, on a certain level, that's absolutely true. And, but it, the best artist could put out a song that sounds like crap, and you would probably not pay attention. It's, it's hard. Crazy. It's hard to pay attention. Yeah. So okay. um, that, we were having this amazing conversation. Yeah, you know, more artists are discovering that. Yeah. You know, there was a time when you say you're an audiophile, when people would say, oh, you're an audiophile. It's like, they have to decide, is it worse to call yourself an audiophile or a pedophile? It's kind of like, let me think about it. <laughs> and, that, and people are finally waking up that, right, to the fact that if it sounds good, at least you can fit. You can, you can at least uh, give it a, a try, like um, the singer that you feature on your website, the Singaporean, Vanessa... Fernandez. Fernandez. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, I mean, I, I didn't enjoy the music as much, yeah. but I still heard it through and through because I was listening to other nuances, yeah. like how, do, how good does the recording sound, how good do the drums sound. Jim Kel that's Jim Kelvin on the drums, he's like oh, 70 wow. something years yeah. old now, he's still got it, he's still yeah. fantastic. And, and to me, that's, I at least gave it a chance, and if, I would probably not have done that if it didn't sound that good. So that's I think right. from um, just an audiophile perspective, yeah. I feel like at least you know, if music is recorded well, it, it stands a chance. That's right. But if it doesn't, if it's not recorded well, you know, a really good song could go unnoticed. Just you you might listen to it in the background, but you exactly. never can absorb yeah. it. Yeah, well, you know, I was on an airplane with, with a, a woman and her daughter, and a seven-year-old daughter, and I told them what I did. The daughter said, I'm getting a turntable. All of my friends have turntables. And it's girls, young girls, that are really driving into a great degree, as I'm finding out. And so the mother said, well, I play CDs. And the daughter said, Mom, you're so old-fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway, anything yeah. else you'd like to say? No, I'm just happy to run into you. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, do you know Ron Brenner? From new record game? Uh, don't think so. Okay, I actually write for his website. So, um, so I, I was very. Do you know this blog called Modern Mining? I don't know. That. Okay, they they actually it was strange because they actually did a write up on my record collection. Oh, cool. And it was funny to me. I yeah. or my brother put it on Facebook, and I was like, this is insane. I mean, like, why is this? What are you up to now yeah. in terms of numbers of records? I think I'm around between 1500 to 2000. That's, that's a good number. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's exploded. Like I, I just wanted to keep. But, but are you I, okay with that? <laughs> I mean, we can shut it. <laughs> <laughs>